Hello and welcome to Master O Level Physics Part 1. I know you're wondering what is this about Master O Level Physics Part 1. Maybe you've just come from primary school where you learned a subject called science. When you get to secondary school, this subject is split into three. Physics is one of them. And maybe you're going to spend four years studying this subject that we call physics. It's a very interesting subject. So in my course, I've split those four years into four courses and I've just completed the first one. In the first course, I'm going to teach you the basic concepts in physics. This is where I introduce to you what is physics. And then I look at simple concepts such as uh, measurement, then I go to force, then I go to pressure, particulate nature of matter, then I go to thermophysics and a bit of electricity. You will find that in my course, most of the concepts are like, for example, I'll talk about measurement part one. That means there is measurement part two in master O level physics part two, which of course I have not completed, but I have started it. The course that I've just completed is Master O-Level Physics Part 1. So when you find that I'm calling a topic measurement Part 1 or electrostatics Part 1 or light Part 1, it means there is a Part 2 which is studied elsewhere. So in this course, I just introduced the most basic concepts in physics so that you're able to better understand the world of physics. I have arranged these topics in uh, sections and it is important that you follow the sections the way I have arranged them because one concept builds on to another. Why is that? In science, we usually like to start from the known. As we go to unknown, that is the habit of science or rather that is the pattern that we we follow in science because you will easily understand something when you start from something which is familiar to you and you already know it before you can introduce something which is completely unknown. There has to be a path. There has to be a link. So I have arranged these topics in that pattern. So unless you're completely sure that you know everything about this particular topic, do not skip any topic. And the course is not very long. You'll just need about eight hours to complete the whole course. There are, there are about 10 concepts that are introduced in Master O-Level Physics Part 1. Like I said, these include topics such as measurement, generally. I'll be talking about uh, measurement using uh, a meter rule, measurement of area volume, measurement of mass, and maybe measurement of density. That is the farthest that I go in measurement part one. In measurement part two, I go into deeper concepts as far as measurement is concerned. So I'd like to welcome you to this course so that we can learn together. Maybe you are in your second year or third year or even fourth year where you're studying O-level physics. And you might want to review some of the concepts which you learned in the first year. In first my course, I have designed it in such that it follows the major O-level physics courses all over the world. So you, may, you might be in a different country altogether from my country, but you will find that my course will be relevant to what you do in school as far as physics all level physics is concerned. So once again, welcome to the course and let us sail together as I teach you the various concepts. Something else, at the end of each topic or a section or even a lecture, I would give you some work to do. Usually maybe some calculations here and there, some simple questions which will ensure that we are together because I'd like you to remember these concepts as we go along. So that is why there are those materials that I have put there so that you can download them into your mobile phone or into your computer and then try out the questions. And the beautiful thing is that as soon as you just try out one question, you just need to click a button and it takes you to the answer. Unless you find that the question is very, very difficult 
in which case you can always ask that question in the forum so that I can address it. Most of the answers to the questions will be given just by clicking a button. And the beautiful thing is that you can download this document. I call them smart documents. They are smart in the sense that you read the question, click a button, it takes you to the answer, click a button, it takes you to the next question, or you go back to the same question. So you keep on going to and fro. And you really don't need to scroll through pages and pages and pages and pages. You just need to click a button and the answer is there. So you will see all this once you are in the course. But even before I convince you of uh, the suitability of this course, why don't you take time and go through some of the free lectures that I've given you just down here. You will see a number of free lectures. Take time, go through those. If you're not in a position to buy the course at this particular moment, you can come back later. But as soon as you leave this page, I can assure you that there will be something that I will have taught you. And maybe I will have convinced you that there is more that I can be able to teach you. So I hope to see you right inside the course where I'm going to teach you fantastic concepts as far as physics is concerned. So welcome.